Welcome to this tutorial for Cisco CyberVision. In this tutorial we are going to cover the installation and configuration of the Docker-based CyberVision sensor. CyberVision is a two-tiered architecture, and it has flexible options for deploying its components. The center can be deployed on hardware-based environments, such as the UCS M6, but also leveraging virtual environments, like Amazon AWS, or Microsoft Azure. The sensor application can be deployed on any of the listed examples out of Cisco's hardware portfolio. This not only provides the necessary flexibility to comply with the architectural and business requirements of the use case, but it also adds additional value to the networking devices hosting the sensor. In addition to that, CyberVision offers deploying its sensor as a Docker-based application to any industrial compute that complies with the technical requirements. We will get back to the technical requirements a little later in this tutorial. Let's first have a look at the high-level approach and the technical requirements. At a high level, this approach is using Docker Compose to start and operate the sensor. To be able to do that, the center is hosting a Docker registry from where the target Docker environment can pull the required Docker images. After providing the configurational details for the new sensor, the center auto-generates a Docker Compose definition. If the new sensor is supposed to use active discovery on top of deep packet inspection, the Docker Compose definition will start two separate Docker containers, instead of just one. Please keep in mind, that the hardware of your Docker environment needs to provide at least two different network interfaces. There are some technical requirements for the target Docker environment and its hardware. Let's go one by one. The hardware type needs to be either ARM64 or x86-64 based and provide a minimum of 1 GB of main memory. It is recommended to have at least 2 to 4 GB. As previously stated, the Docker host needs to provide two network interfaces with the capability to support promiscuous mode. Keep in mind, that one of the interfaces will be used exclusively by the sensor. The operating system can be a recent Ubuntu version and you need to have a Docker runtime installed on it. The Docker environment needs to be able to access the CyberVision Center on port 443 and port 80, as well as on port 5671 and 10514. Last but not the least, it is recommended to restrict the usage for any of the vital system resources, especially if the Docker runtime is hosting other applications in addition. The deployment of the Docker sensor is following certain phases. Let's go step by step. First, you must create a deployment token in the center. A token is being leveraged by the starting sensor to onboard itself to the center in a secure way. Second, you configure your new sensor. The configuration includes the specification of its type of operation, the interfaces to use, the type of traffic provisioning, and also if active discovery should be made available. Third, Review the proposed configuration. And last, once the configuration is done, you use it in the target Docker runtime environment to start the new sensor using Docker Compose. The new sensor will onboard and register itself to your center. As the first step, log into your center instance. Navigate to admin in the main menu and click on sensors in the submenu. Click on Deployment Tokens in the submenu. The deployment token will allow your starting sensor to onboard itself to your CyberVision Center in a secure and scalable way. While creating the token, you specify a name for it, how often this token can be leveraged to onboard a sensor to the center, its expiration time and if the token is enabled to be used for deployments right after its creation. These settings of a token allow you to organize and support larger rollouts. Once you configured the settings, click on Create. After creating your deployment token, click on Sensor Explorer in the submenu. This admin interface allows you to deploy all types of sensors. In this tutorial, we are exclusively looking at the Docker type sensor and its installation. Click on New Sensor and select the bottommost Docker sensor option. 
the user interface will now guide you through a couple of configuration details, which are necessary for the new sensor. First, you need to provide a name for the sensor, using which you will be able to re-identify it later in the center. You are free to choose any name, but you might want to encode a use case name, network identifier, or geolocation into it, especially for large-scale use cases. Second, select a deployment token to use for the sensor deployment. Third, decide if your new sensor is supposed to run passive traffic analysis, active discovery, or both. Depending on your selection, the resulting Docker Compose definition will start up one Docker container, or two. Fourth, Docker Compose presumes the Docker registry to provide connectivity using a secured communication with a valid certificate. If your CyberVision Center is still using a self-signed certificate, you need to check the option to allow insecure pull mode. And last, in case your sensor will access your center via a network connection using NAT, please check the last option too. Click on Next to continue. The next step is to configure how traffic is being made available to the Docker sensor. In this guide, we are going to configure the sensor for span type provisioning. Provide the name of the capture interface on your Docker host. And last, decide which type of analysis you want the sensor to apply on the traffic using the capture mode dropdown. Once done, click on Save Interface at the right-hand side. Once you have defined all interfaces you intend to use, especially in relation to the traffic type you selected in the previous step, click on Continue. With the configuration being complete, your center provides you with the full Docker Compose configuration. Please review the configuration. Especially check if the full qualified domain name of your center has been specified correctly. You will need this later. Once done, copy the content into a file on your Docker host. Let's switch from the administration user interface to your Docker host command line. If you deploy a Docker sensor for the first time and if your CyberVision Center is using a self-signed certificate, there are some configurational steps you have to do initially once. Please create the directory structure slash etc slash docker slash certs.d. At this location, create a subdirectory with the full qualified domain name of your CyberVision Center. In this example, the name of the center is center-eft5.1, followed by its top-level domain. Create a file called ca.crt in this directory. The content of this file is supposed to be the certificate of your center. You can easily access this information when accessing your center via browser. Depending on the browser you use, the remote server certificate should be provided to you near the URL bar, usually indicated with a lock symbol, or similar. Verify that the web server certificate of your center is copied correctly into ca.crt. As a reminder, you only need to do this, if your CyberVision Center is using the certificate provided automatically during its installation. You can skip it, if your center is using an official security certificate that you provided, or if you selected the insecure mode during the creation of the Docker Compose configuration. If you want to skip, ignore the modification of the daemon.json and the restart of the Docker services. The second step is to create the daemon.json file inside the etc docker directory. Include the configuration for insecure registries into it, using the full qualified domain name for your CyberVision Center. After this change, make sure to restart your Docker engine. Check if your Docker engine is running correctly after the restart. The active status should say active and running. Just to make sure, all the steps after retrieving the Docker Compose definition until now are just necessary to be done, if your center is using a self-signed certificate and if you did not yet provide your own certificate to it. If the full qualified domain name of your CyberVision Center is not resolvable via your DNS service, you need to make sure to include it into your slash etc slash hosts file. With all the preparatory steps done, Let's have a look at the Docker Compose file you copied at the end of the sensor configuration workflow. Create a file on your Docker host and copy the content into it. For this tutorial, 
we are going to call it docker-compose.yam when just created in the home directory of the user. Please note that in this example, there are two Docker containers defined. This is because the configuration was done to include active discovery. If you configured your sensor to not do active discovery, you will only see one Docker container being defined here. Use this configuration to start the corresponding Docker containers. The force recreate parameter can be used to recreate potentially existing sensors on this host and is not mandatory, especially if you start the sensor for the first time. After the sensor has started, you should check if the Docker containers are running as expected. Look after the operational status. It should indicate a status of up. Once your Docker containers are up and running, open the administration interface of your center and navigate to admin in the main menu. Select sensors in the sub menu and click on sensor explorer. You should be able to see the two new Docker based sensors. In this example, one of the sensors is disconnected, simply because it is not yet fully configured on the center side. If you are interested in active discovery, consider watching the dedicated video about this topic. Congratulations! You just deployed your first Docker-based CyberVision sensor. If you are not familiar with using Docker, you might want to refer to this list of commands. Among the commands we just used, you find other useful commands that you might need sooner or later. Thank you for watching this tutorial about installing and configuring the Docker-based CyberVision sensor.